This is the water runoff for a small waterfall under Scapa Whiskey, uh, heading down the fresh water here and down onto Scapa Beach. Lots of fresh mussels around here as well. Lots of delicious mussels, quite young ones. It's a great area to pick them up actually. Big crops of mussels. These mussels are tiny though, they need to grow for quite a period of time. Plus I'm not sure how good the mussels will be close to the runoff. Um, We've got lots of limpets about as well, but limpets are not great for eating. Some of the countries eat them, Portugal, Spain, places like that. Here in Orkney, eating a limpet is like eating a tennis ball. Not very nice. Decent sized mussel here. There's one there. There. So you like foraging in Orkney, or foraging full stop. There's lots of amazing places you can go in Orkney. Uh, to get seafood and fresh things like fresh mussels. A lot of these outcrops have mussels on, but they're uh, they're very young, so not to be eaten. Be a good idea to let them grow in a bit. It's quite a low tide at Scapa today. A couple of days ago I was here, I found a very large bit of driftwood. I came back today to see if I could pick it up and I guess my luck, somebody's got it. So uh, if you snooze, you lose. Kenley here from Orkney Uncovered, as you probably know already. I'm now heading up the beach of Scapa to see if I can um, find some more driftwood. After Storm Brendan a couple weeks ago, we had a huge storm surge and a lot of uh, flotsam and jetsam uh, was brought in. And so I've been picking up the plastic as I've been going about um, and some amazing bits of driftwood. So my friend Prem, uh, he collects driftwood and his intention is to make it into all sorts of nice things. So uh, what I do is on my couple of days off here and there is I like going to the beach with my family, uh, but particularly going out to see what I can find uh, after a major storm. Now, you can see here behind me, there's been a bit of a landslip some plastics and things I'll pick up in a minute. You know, all it takes is everybody once in a while to pick up a bit of plastic or every time you go to the beach and uh, take it to the local recycling bin or put it in a bag and put it next to the bin for the council to pick it up. You can see the seaweed line come up from the shoreline. Unfortunately brought with it were many dead seals. Well, seals are seal pups at the end of last year. So because of our storm surges and weather here in Orkney, we unfortunately do get some loss on the seals as well. I'm just walking back towards my car. You can see some of the sedimentary sandstone layers here. Orkney is a climber's paradise. The only problem is though, is a lot of it's sedimentary sandstone and with that, it's very difficult in which to get your anchors in. Um, plus sandstone, as you probably know this if you've studied geology or know a bit about geology. 
sandstone does weather quite quickly so um, particularly if you're in the brunt of a strong westerly gale with a eroding sandstone it's quite difficult then to uh, to get your uh, anchor onto it so if you do come climbing in Orkney highly recommend Orkney Climbing Club They're also a really good company I have used in the past is uh, Moran Mountain and uh, a few years ago I did the Winter Mountaineer with them uh, now Moran Mountain are based down in Strathcarran uh, near Loch Carron so uh, should you want to go climbing or adventure outside of Orkney I highly recommend them in the meantime, I can't actually see any driftwood because I've been here a while now looking for it. Uh, but some great looking uh, cliffs overlooking Scapa Bay. So Scapa flow out there, about a mile and a half out from our position. You can't see it from here, lies the uh, HMS Royal Oak, the battleship. She was torpedoed in Scapa flow on the 14th of October 1939 with a loss of 835 men on board. So this area here has been used a lot over the years for a variety of different things. And Scapa Base itself, well, you can see the uh, sort of a building here in the distance. Uh, that's the Marine Headquarters. This whole area here was used by seaplanes um, in the First World War. And the Second World War, it was for stevedores and for a fuel depot you can see in the distance here uh, for filling up fuel for the fleet um, at Scapa Flow for the home fleet anyway as I head back towards the car I'm still on the lookout for uh, driftwood can't find anything as yet uh, but what you can see here is the rock strata so as you can see here this is quite dangerous in which to climb not only is it very slippy uh, but the sandstone itself is, is very loose um, you can see it's sort of flaking away but yeah scap is quite nice um, you can actually see where some of the driftwood has managed to breach um, after the storm surge we had the storm surge brendan brought up waves to this point and a bit up and over so there's bits of wood up there and you can see the damage that the waves have done on the coastal erosion. So that's one big problem here in Orkney is the coastal erosion. Um, after major storms and high tides or ebb tides and a devastating storm, this, this does happen. Anyway, um, from Kinley Francis here on a fairly warm, well warm, fairly mild day um, on the, I think it's the 26th of January, uh, 2020. Uh, to yourselves, a rest uh, along the rest of the world. Um, have a great day, and uh, hopefully my YouTube videos will get a bit better. Sunset soon. All the best.